This is the Elba 45 for time for job. Check it out. There's a thoughtful skirt to the transoms to make it easier to climb aboard from the tender or when alongside. Another nice touch is an optional electrically operated bathing platform which spans the entire width between the holes, an impressive range of outdoor space with the emphasis on eating in the cockpit and lounging either there, on the flybridge or on the foredeck sun pads. The rig is ICW friendly and represents a pretty standard catamaran setup with a 59 foot 5 inch mast stepped on the leading end of the coach roof. The main sheet runs to the traveler mounted aft of the helm and lounging area and the Genoa sheets to a pair of tracks located close to the center line and within reach of the cockpit for easy control and tight trim angles. Another big focus for design work on Elba 45 is the flybridge, where you will find the dynamic and stylish helm offering easy maneuverability and will delight you with its performance, striking an affecting compromise between an outright flybridge which adds a cachet for some and a bulkhead steering position peeping over the coach roof. There's room for two behind the wheel and a roomy pit ahead of it, for some to grind away at three large Loomer 50 coach roof mounted winches. Sitting for four or five on a big sun pad cover more than 107 square feet, it's not hard to imagine dinner with a view up here and it means good company for the helmsman mid-ocean. There's a console with drinks holder and a convenient little recess for belongings and there's still space for solar panels along the trailing edge of the hardtop. The trade-off is a slightly higher boom, which in turn raises the center of effort of the sail, creating more lateral force. The deep cockpit offers sofas and a sun bed so you can choose where and how to conduct your afternoon siesta. The headroom under the hardtop is also excellent. The 45 is the core of the market of hometown Peugeot. It's always such a big challenge to innovate or take a risk, but they nailed it. Extensive glazing of the salon and the large hole lights, you have a modern looking boat. She has slightly backswept forward windows and a flowing curve to the coach roof. The standard boat offers a large 190 liter refrigerator to starboard. On top, you have a multi-purpose area, high navigation instrument console with your 12 volt electric panel. This is a successful ploy with the deep, comfy L-shaped sofa looking more like something borrowed from the super yacht world than the standard yacht seating. The galley is well equipped with twin stainless steel sinks along the aft bulkhead with pressurized hot and cold fresh water system from the mixer faucet, large cork boards under the sinks accommodating an optional dishwasher. Also as an option, a 4.6 cubic foot refrigerator or a 3.1 cubic foot freezer, one stainless steel gas oven, one three burner stove with pan holder with three cupboards and three doors under it and storage space underneath the floor. Elba is available in an owner-preferred three-cabin maestro version and a four-cabin charter layout. There is also room for a single crew berth in the starboard bow and crew heads to port, although this would chip away a very handy sail locker space. The quality of the finish is as you would expect in a series yacht, all in light gray oak for the furniture, dark oak flooring and neutral upholstery as standard. It all feels very sophisticated and urban. The fourth cabin comes with a double bed, 5.1 by 6.6 .6 feet, one drawer under the bed with frontal axis, a hanging cupboard, one shelf on the side of the bed, plus a deck hatch and a large picture window on whole side. Four and a half bathrooms have access via wooden door, a wash basin with worktop, mirror with shelf, hot and cold fresh water system from mixer faucet, a shower separated via a plexiglass panel, an electric drainage pump, mixing bulb top for shower, large manual marine toilet, storage closet with shelves under the worktop, deck hatch and LED spotlights. Very complete. Let's head to our aft cabin with access from the companionway via a wooden door. Queen size island bed, 5.3 by 6.6 .6 feet, a little bit bigger than your four cabin. Shelves, drawer below the bed, wardrobe, cobord with shelves in it, a rear panoramic window, deck catch, and one porthole. Curtains on all windows and lining covered ceilings. 
In the maestro, the owner gets the entire porthole with the queen berth aft, a desk, vanity, and storage lockers amidships, and a spacious head area forward that includes a walking shower located outboard and separated by a sole to ceiling wall of glass. It's a neat arrangement. Featuring here, we have the charter layout. Fontan Peugeot realizes its boats are large chunks of non-recyclable plastic, but is nevertheless trying to cultivate greater eco-awareness. Solar panels and water management systems aim to make the boats less polluting, while the manufacturing process aims to use fewer dangerous chemicals and waste is minimized and recycled. The biggest potential green win comes from a tie up between FP and Volvo Penta, which is using the smaller Lucia 40 as a test bed to co develop their own electric propulsion system. Standard propulsion comes from 40 horsepower Volvo Penta diesel in each hole, coupled with fixed props. You can upgrade to 50 horsepower units, which would make a worthwhile option if you're expecting to spend a lot of time motoring. You would certainly want to upgrade both with the 18-inch Volvo folding prop to reap an extra knot or so of boat speed. This is a great layout and splitting the galley in this way creates more space and keeps the connection with the cockpit via the swing up aft window and fold away door. This would undoubtedly be a comfortable boat on which to make an ocean crossing. The Fontaine Peugeot spirit is to face forward. The Elva 45 confirms in the most seductive way their taste for the avant-garde. This luxury catamaran is made to light the eye and to take you by surprise. The energizing line of its inverted bows, the harmonious layout of its living quarters will mesmerize any enthusiastic yachtsman. A true cruising catamaran traversed by a magnificent luminescence. You will feel aboard the Elba 45 just as comfortable as at home. So that was the Elba 45. I'm Grace Robles and if you enjoyed it and you want to know more about it, feel free to reach out to me and I will be more than happy to help you. See you next time.